Hi, welcome back to your new lesson. In this lesson, I am going to show you what is the pipelining into ARM microcontroller. ARM 7 has a three stage pipelining which is known as a stage 1, 2 and 3. In a stage 1, core fetch the instruction and then in stage 2, the instruction was decoded and then into stage 3, instruction was finally executed. So moreover, we can say the pipeline is a mechanism in a RISC processor which uses to execute the instruction. Using a pipeline it speeds up the execution by fetching the next instruction while other instructions are being decoded and they executed. What we can say here is that this fetch stage this fetch stage loads an instruction from the memory and then this decode identifies the instruction which is to be executed and then final stage execute process the instruction and write the result back to the register. So what we can say this each stage takes one clock cycle so we can say this takes one clock cycle and this takes another clock cycle and this takes another one clock cycle. So to complete these three stages it takes at least three clock cycle to complete fetch, decode and the execute of an instruction. So suppose that if we have a three instructions to execute the first instruction let's take the add and the subtract and the compare that's the CMP. And if I ask you to, to, to execute this instruction according to the pipelining of the ARM processor, then how will you do this? So for this, what we can do, we can divide it into the three stages. Okay. So in the first stage, what we can say, let's say here uh, we have cycle 1 and then we have here cycle 2 and then we have here cycle 3 that's the clock cycle so in the first clock cycle what we will do we will take the add instruction set okay and also here it has a fetch and then the instruction will be decoded and then finally it will have the third one that is the execute and now in a fetch it has add okay and into the next clock cycle this add will move into the decode okay and into the next clock cycle this add will move into execute here another thing is also to notice is that when the add will move into the decode stage then at the first stage the processor will fetch the instruction another instruction which is subtract so here processor will get a new instruction which is subtract and now in uh, another clock cycle this subtract will move here okay and here another point is also to notice that once this subtract instruction moves into a decode stage then fetch stage is empty here and pipeline can fetch another instruction which is a CMP that's the compare instruction So here is the CMP. In the same way, if we increase this clock cycle, in a fourth clock, it will execute another, here it will take another uh, instruction and let's say the another instruction is increment here and here it will move this CMP here 
and it will move this sub here okay and then this will be finally executed and the result will be stored into the CPU after the execution of this instruction okay so this is a data flow this is data flow into a pipeline here and this CMP will go here and this go here like this so this is a three stage pipelining only and this is the oldest pipelining design into our microcontroller and uh, this type of pipelining was being used by only ARM7 microcontrollers but now ARM processor stages has been uh, changed uh, pipelining stages has been changed and now ARM is uh, using 5 stage and the 6th stage uh, pipelining techniques so here if we say ARM9 ARM9 uses 5 stage pipeline and those 5 stage pipeline is fetch the instruction and then decode the instruction after decoding instruction we need to execute that's the pipeline will execute that instruction and then finally it will write back into the memory or it will access the memory and then finally it will write back to the memory or the register so this is a five stage pipelining into R9 and the ARM10 has a six stage of pipelining okay so in ARM10 the six stage pipelining is like this in the first stage it fetches the instruction and then another stage it issues the instruction for next stage of pipeline and then finally it decode it and then finally it execute the instruction and then memory access and then finally write back to the register or the memory one thing here is very important to notice is that the ARM pipelining into different versions of ARM are different and the stages of the pipelining are also different so the one question you might ask is that what is the difference between the stage 5, 3 and the 6 pipelining that's in the 5 stage, 6 stage and the 3 stage of the pipelining here you can see if we increase the number of stages into the pipelining processor overload on the processor reduces hence the frequency of processor increases as well as the performance of the processor increases but the disadvantage of increasing the pipelining is that it increases here the latency okay so this is known as a latency so if, if one instruction is fetched into the first clock cycle the instruction will be completed only after six clock cycle since if each clock cycle right will execute only one stage okay so in this case it takes at least six clock cycle to complete a one instruction to pass through a different stages of a pipeline right so in the same way here into the five stage it only takes at least a five clock cycle to execute the one instruction and also another thing also to notice here is that suppose that there is an instruction which has reached till the execution but the address on which the result will be written into the memory is dependent on to a next instruction and which will be the executed after this instruction then they, this is known as interdependence of a instruction and in this case pipelining stages or pipelining execution get halts and then it first execute the next instruction 
and then it write back so in this case the actual sense of pipelining and the performance get deteriorated and for that what we can do we can reduce that instruction dependency to each other using instruction scheduling so in instruction scheduling compiler automatically schedule the instruction so that it can decrease the instruction dependency between on between each other right so this is all about in this video we have discussed about the pipelining into our microcontroller three stage five stage and the six stage of the pipelining thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe next channel